continue so i'm um, talking about covid and lockdown bournemouth was crowded um i'm sure most of you are familiar with the weather in the uk i'm sure most of you know you know the weather here isn't the best it's a bit wet it's a bit dreary it's a bit cold um matches our personality as probably uh, english and british people but um the last few years the weather in the summer has been absolutely beautiful i'm not sure it's because you know as a consequence of global warming or you know it's just our turn to have some good weather but the summers have been really great um so much so that a lot of people that i know as well have been spending a lot of time traveling around england basically and discovering new places to holiday for the weekend um especially if you've kind of done everything there is to do in mainland europe you know you've done the whole bar crawl in central europe you've gone to places in eastern europe you maybe rented that into even to russia you've done the whole mediterranean bits and bobs you've done all the franco places there's not much else to go right especially if you've got you know a tight budget but if you do want to explore and you don't want to go on a flight anywhere and you want to be able to you know take stuff on a train and not have to you know squeeze stuff into your backpack then going somewhere within england is probably a good bet and i guess bournemouth because of the heat has been a great place and it's attracted a lot of people and this image i saw flowing around social i honestly thought was a photoshop or no first of all i thought it was an image from like you know previous bygone years then it kept floating around and i saw an actual moving image right aka a video and i was like wow this is actually happening in real life so i guess with the heat and everyone going insane being indoors people just you know essentially burst out of their homes and ran to the beach in bournemouth to get some rays and to hang out but it looks absolutely horrendous like this is my nightmare i'm not a beach person anyway right shock horror a guy you know born in a uh, major city in europe does not is not a fan of beaches i don't really care right i'll go to a beach hang out but i'm not the kind of person that's going to be you know waking up early in the morning to get a good spot and running to the water i don't give a shit as long as i got a book and i got you know some tunes to listen to i'll probably end up falling asleep falling in and out of sleep every two two or two to three minutes but this scene at the bournemouth beach looks insane so this is from bournemouth beach it's a bournemouth beach um major incident as thousands flock to the coast this is a bbc article it says as follows um sun seekers have been urged to stay away from a beach as thousands flock to the dorset coast and major incident was declared on bournemouth um in bournemouth sorry bournemouth uh christchurch and poll council said that the bournemouth beach was stretched to the absolute hills on the second day of the uk heat wave and as you can see that is stretch and if you're listening via the podcast it's essentially we're looking over hordes hordes like essentially a whole sea of people some umbrellas various you know caucasian torsos all over the place and minimum water minimal water you can't even see much of the water because it's just covered with people um the article continues it said uh, the dorset police said there were reports of gridlock roads fights and overnight camping oh because you're not allowed to stay there overnight i'm assuming i wonder why that is is that like a security thing or you're just not allowed or they're just trying to prevent bums from sleeping on the beach um like i don't know oh, uh, it says people were urged to act responsibly as temperatures hit the mid-20s mamma mia uh traffic up early traffic up early on the coast roads including the dirtle door and people traveled um to bournemouth from far as birmingham by Thursday evening, the Stanbanks Peninsula was heavily congested, the council said, repeating its warning for people to please stay away. I wonder what the best time is to go to a place like that when everyone's going. You probably have to, well, I'd, if it was me and I was a fan of beaches, I'd probably try and get there before six, just so I can bang out my, you know, get my run on, um, get a nice sweat on, get a bit of a tan, go in the water, freshen up, come back out, crack up a bit of a, crack up a, bit of a tinny. And then, you know, head out when else everyone's coming in at like nine or something. That'll be beautiful, right? You've got a good tan on. You feel refreshed, ready to go. You watch your dog if you've got one. And that, you know, dog's tired. Get back home and cook yourself a bit of dinner. That's what I do. Try to get it before six. Maybe that's a bit nuts, but I'll try to do that. But anyway, continue. So in the article, it says, um, the ferry service in Sandbanks tweeted, again, we're struggling to get traffic off the ferry as, as uh, at Pole. Uh, for now, we have we hope to carry half loads of vehicles from Studland, but depends on the gridlock in the Sandbanks tonight. I wonder if people will be making a lot of money over there as well. It says um, a local resident took a photo of the length of the queue for the Mudford ferry as the beach <laughs> goes left for the day. <laughs> oh, God, you got to love it. White mums love those dresses and those little frilly kind of like beach dresses and those sandals. It's funny and dads always love those kind of tailored shorts. 
Um, continues, the council said declaring a major incident meant a multi-agency emergency response has now been activated to coordinate uh, resources across the area. Okay, when you say major incident, it doesn't actually mean something happened. It just means that they want to alert people that, you know, don't come back again. Uh, it continues, it says, um, England's chief medical officer, Professor Chris White, uh, Whitty, tweeted in response to Thursday's beach scenes with a warning. It said COVID-19 will rise again. <laughs> like a, unless people follow I like how they're trying to scare everyone but it's too late you know people aren't bothered anymore I think people have made the decision you know what if I get it I get it but I can't be indoors so good luck doing that he said uh, <laughs> Chris Whitty tweeted in response to Thursday scenes with a warning COVID will rise again unless people follow um, social distancing guidelines councillor what's his name councillor leader Vicky Slade said they were absolutely appalled at the scenes witnessed on our beaches the irresponsible behaviour and actions of so many people is just shocking and our services are stretched the absolute hill trying to keep everyone safe <laughs> We've had no choice but now but to declare a major incident, initiate an emergency response, she said. Relax, relax, Vicky. Take it easy. Take a breather. Um, the council said it issued 558 parking fines. Now, they made, see, everything works out in the end, isn't it, right? They made some parking fines. That goes back into the council's po pockets, and then they can pretend that they're going to use that for, you know, um, what you call it? to improve uh the roads or you know repair a bench or some shit they're not gonna do nothing it's gonna line their pockets and buy themselves some more prosecco for their staff night out which you know they probably deserve this is a little video on bbc see what this buff tattooed guy is talking about well, i live just up the road so i'm i am a local person and i thought i'll come to the beach early this oh morning my god before it gets packed down here like this guy's voice is a madness is that real he's if you're if you're not watching this he sounds how he looks if that makes sense. A tin of sardines. I'm really not happy that so many people are coming down to our beaches that I can't even appreciate what's on my doorstep. Um, I think people think I've, I've forgot about COVID and they're having a COVID holiday. I, I don't know what's <laughs> happening. That so many people think COVID it's acceptable holiday. to come down here and use our beaches when we've got a national emergency going on. It's a national emergency and not um, a national holiday. <sighs> I get his point, right? But you need to relax. You live there, right? People are wanna people wanna come down and get some vitamin D. They've watched the Joe Rogan podcast. They know the sun helps to kill the virus. They wanna get some fresh ocean air into their lungs. Allow them in it. It's gonna be in a couple of days, you know, take it easy, you know? Um this guy kinda reminds me of that bird watcher dude in the New York Grand Central Park in it. He's gonna start snitching on everyone and recording shit. He's probably got some treats in his pocket he's gonna give his little girls. No, no let's not say that because that's mean. But you know, <laughs> it's similar to that same sort of thing. But I have sympathy for the people that don't that just are, are just saying fuck it. I got sympathy for them man. I know I shouldn't. I know it's it's irresponsible and I'm not doing it as well, right? I'm speaking to you now, hold up in my apartment, haven't moved, haven't left, you know, my postcode for the past i don't know 90 days or whatever it may be and more but i understand people who just can't handle it they're like you know what if you if i lived next to a beach like that maybe i would have run by there a couple of times on my you know on my morning run like i just you know i was in the area i want to run by i might have done it myself as well so i have sympathy for them man. like i don't know what do you want people to do do you know what i mean like legitimately what do you want to do like our homes in the uk aren't equipped for hot weather anyway we don't no one really has air conditioning units and especially the building i live in is like a new build building so the insulation here is really good so it's amazing for the winter because you don't have to turn the heating on but in the summer it traps the heat and there's no way of cooling down so what do you want people to do come on be, be fair we've got to have a couple of drinks enjoying the sun yeah, it's the closest yeah. we're going to get to holiday this year isn't it so yeah. <laughs> that's what we enjoy it really we'll make the most of it while you can i like this idea that you got it's, it's funny when people say that and just got to enjoy it. It's the last holiday we're going to do, in it? So this idea that it's not, you won't say it's selfishness, but it's a really, it's a, it's a, it's a perverse way to look at things, right? That you think your time at the beach is more important than the overall health of a nation or maybe putting other people at risk. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make, isn't it? Like, as if like we're not all deserving of a holiday or we don't all want to go on holiday you know you decide that you want to go and like fuck it regardless so i guess there is an acceptance with some people that it's just like you know what if i get it i get it but i would rather get it 
whilst I'm on the beach and get it whilst I'm at home hold up somewhere I'd imagine so right um but again having seen some of the videos of people that do catch it it's no joke some people do you know some people get it and it's a light cold but do you really want to roll that dice I know I wouldn't and um yeah interesting I just I just wish I had that kind of I wish my brain worked that way but if somebody warns you about something I guess you know what these people kind of remind me of you know those shitty horror movies where there's or like in a thriller when somebody says okay i'm gonna go xyz place um don't move i'll be back right and look at them in the end they're like don't move i'll be right back stay right here and then as soon as the person leaves they decide to go and follow a cat somewhere down the down the set of stairs and then they get kidnapped right it's always like and i guess they that's they represent those people right they're always they just don't have any i don't know it's just you know I don't know how to describe it. I just wish I could be like that. I really do. But I have too much... Uh, well, probably I'm too scared, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe I have too much sense. I'm too aware of things. If someone warns me not to go down, not to open that door, I just want to open it. I'm not going to check just in case, you know? Well, it don't, I'm still not the only one that's even had it. <laughs> so, in my eyes, does that really matter? Nah, that's an insane logic, isn't it? It's like saying... Um, you don't believe in oxygen because you can't see it right it's just an insane way to say things like right? because no one i know has had it that means it doesn't have it doesn't actually exist so how but then that's the thing i'm thinking about because it's not i think covid would covid would have been hmm, the lockdown would have worked far better in a place like the uk or in the us even if it was a virus that you could see had some kind of phys, physical no has some sort of visual effects a visual not visual effect what's the word had some visual had something about like something like smallpox or lupus or whatever right where you could see somebody physically change before your eyes when they got covid but i guess because everyone just gets the flu and they cough a lot and whatever you don't necessarily think it's that big of a deal but if people develop you know open sores and you know their skin started to crack or their eyelids started to turn a weird color that would probably people would take it a lot more serious but because it's just referred to as a common cold people are like mm. but yeah as long as everyone's safe but it's getting a bit hectic down here now isn't it it's probably going to cause a second wave isn't it everyone's just doing what they want didn't they looked at it yesterday, looked that guy's a that guy's just full of confusion and it doesn't believe it exists complain to the beach too full then worried about a second spike of virus he doesn't believe it exists really cramped that's why we thought we'd get here early but there's still quite a few people but i mean if people get too close we'll probably say we can move over a little bit <laughs> <laughs> i mean as long as people don't get too close to us i think it'll be all right because you're stuck in it <laughs> i wish i could be that optimistic i wish i could just be that blissfully unaware man we hope it's gonna be okay if people don't stay near with me i think it's gonna be fine no mask wearing it's just wow man I wonder what they thought when this first kind of was tearing through Wuhan and parts of Italy. I wonder what these people thought when they saw that on the news. What was their impression of it? Did they think it was still an, a, f a hoax? I wonder what they thought. Because I think that's what set everybody, that's what got everyone in a panic, right? Wuhan and the stuff we were seeing in Italy. And then for some, I guess some people just don't see that. They're like, hmm, no big deal. They just carry on. It's like madness, isn't it? affects your mental health a lot, so it's great to be out. Especially by the sea. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Anyway, let's move on from that one. What more can you say, man? Nothing more really, in it. We've all I think again, I'm again I'm not I'm not a judgy person. I think we've all got access to the same bits of information. You uh, analyze what's going on, you then make an informed decision as an adult and decide what you think is best for yourself your friends and your family that's all you can do really um decide this whole shaming of people that are going outside i'm not really a big fan of pointing fingers recording people on a beach recording people in parks and stuff it's just like relax take it easy you know what i mean like this is not a normal situation we are social animals right we crave hanging around with people you know that's where the whole Dunbar number comes up it comes around right but we haven't had no Dunbar numbers right we probably met may, maybe less than 10 people this whole time so you know cut people some slack i guess cut them some slack 